So, I've been using Cosmic almost exclusively for about a month now, and I can promise you it's not exactly a wholesome experience. Cosmic devs still have lots of work to do just for covering the very basics, but also, the Linux community needs to get their Wayland stuff done eventually because some major cosmic issues are actually Wayland problems and we can't simply fall back to Xorg. But then again, the happiness of using a rusty desktop beats the drawbacks. So here I am anyway. And if you want to join me on my cosmic adventures, I can share you two quick tips that will vastly enhance your desktop experience. Or maybe not, we'll see. So. The first thing to deal with is the shortcut situation, because if we check on input settings and shortcuts, we'll see this page isn't done yet. Fortunately, we can change them from the compositor RON file. By the way, RON is a data serialization format that looks similar to Rust syntax, and that's what Cosmic uses for all their configurations. All right? The file is under etc and Cosmic Comp, but you can copy it either on.config and cosmiccomp.ron or on.config, cosmic comp, and config.ron, and it'll get priority. Um, and what I do like to change here are the shortcuts for the launcher and the workspaces overview. So by default, the launcher is bind to super, and that's the launcher if you don't know. And the workspace overview is bind on super and w, which is this one. And what I've basically done is to set the super for opening the overview so I can switch and arrange my windows easily and I'm using super and slash for the launcher. Honestly, if you don't use 100% tiling, that shortcuts move is a godlike move to do. My second tip for tonight is also godlike, because I discovered that emoji applet. Woo-ho! <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's perhaps a bit of an overreaction, because this picker can only copy an emoji, so we should paste it after to input, which is awfully annoying, but still much better than nothing, huh? Meanwhile, that guy has written a few more applets for the Cosmic Desktop, if you want to check them out. And one of them is a Places menu. Um, if that doesn't remind Gnome, what does, hmm? By the way, I checked on that book, and it's really good if you want to start with Rust development and push some more applets or whatever. You'll find it on Z Library, obviously, 